Good morning. Good morning, good morning profe- professor, and good morning, everyone. Um, the weather today is sunny. Um, actually, I don't know how, <laughs> like, maybe 28 or 30 degree around this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today's uh, Phnom Penh is uh, cloudy or sunny. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. The cloudy yeah. or uh, not so cloudy. It's same uh, Phnom Penh. It's 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 like cloudy and sunny. Like mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. The weather great. is good today. Have we all already met the uh, Dr. Labi? Vice President of RUPP. Um, not, no, yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, La- uh, Dr. Labi is a Vice President of the Royal University of Phnom Penh, and uh, she already pay attention to our conference for this meeting. If, uh, okay, it's a pandemic time, so difficult to meet her in person. Okay. Yes. Okay, if you have opportunity, please uh, tell the what's going about the world youth meeting preparation. Thank you. Mm. A lot of work. Very good. So, uh, Tilgun, good morning. Good morning, Kagete Sensei. Okay, thank you so much for joining. So, the, you are from the Nepal, right? Yeah, I am from Nepal. Oh, very good. Thanks so much. So, yeah. what's the temperature in Nepal today? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I I'm seeing, I see in Google Economy. Mm. So it just wait a minute. Pab Sreni, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Oh, audio is very clear. Now you are at hometown. Yes, professor. Okay, you have your parents today also. Yes. Oh, good daughter, good daughter. Okay. <laughs> Someday I want to visit your village. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you can I can see, see your beautiful picture. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. I'm Ayako Hirano from Kyoto Sangyo University. Today, I will talk about how to deal with Q&A session for World Youth Meeting. Okay. Uh, today, I will talk about the criteria for Q&A sessions of World Youth Meeting. And also, I will show you example questions and answers. And next, how to write questions. It's an online presentation, so you will write questions on paper, not paper, but uh, the site, website. And then presenter, you need to choose questions among them. So how to choose good questions. And then lastly, I will show you useful expressions. So the first one, criteria for Q&A sessions. Uh, probably you know there are five point scale from one through five. So criteria, if you want to get point five, you have to, questions are answered appropriately. And the score four, the answers are good enough, but not going into details. That kind of question, uh, answer is four. And three, answers mostly cover the question. And two, what is said is not an answer. It means answers aren't related to the question. And one, can't answer anything. Uh, I'm sure all of you want to get score five. So please uh, keep in mind that questions are answered appropriately. And what you need to do is what you, you need to answer what you think and what you are doing or why you think so by showing examples or fact. And please explain it in detail. And the point in answering questions is express gratitude to questioner or audience. Thank you for questioning like this. And repeat or uh, paraphrase the question. It is because uh, the audience can't read the 
question. So you need to share the question with the audience. So please repeat or paraphrase the question and answer straight to the point. Uh, if your answer is not straight, uh, many people have difficulty understanding what you want to say. So answer straight to the point. And also show the slide when you asked about the content of the slide. Okay, and when you perform, answer in louder voice and answer clearly. I'll show you an example. Uh, the question is like this. This time, uh, all of you will present about the action plan. Action plan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like this, pr probably this kind of question will come. You talked about action plan, blah, blah, blah. When do you start taking real action? Like this. And if we want to get five points, the answer could be like this. Thank you very much for your question. Your question is when we will start taking real action. Okay, so repeat the question. And the answer is, see now the answer. We have already started conducting plan blah, blah, blah at my school. And in addition, we are talking with all friends who go to different schools. Therefore, we expect many more students to participate in our plan. This sample answer is uh, show, uh, says uh, gratitude and repeat the question and straight answer. And also uh, it talk about the situation, current situation and about the future plan. So it's a perfect answer to get five points. Okay. <laughs> Another example about SNS or something, but Kagito Sensei said you want uh, action plan something like this, so I changed the question. Yeah. So the, uh, no, what I wanted to share with you, the question is not related to the action plan. We should deny. Uh, you should deny, deny. You don't accept the question. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the uh, the audience write a question which is not related to action plan. Yeah, yeah, yes, the yes. Question is denied. Yeah. So in so, that case, how can I say to the audience question? Ah, okay, okay. If the question is not related to action plan, yes, yes. How yes. how can we react? You mean so, yes, the audience? Right. Okay. So, uh, uh, for example, the question is. You talk uh, what what uh, if you talk about uh, clear water action plan or something? Yeah. Do you uh, the question is like this? Do uh, do you think? It, no, don't the question. <laughs> okay. Uh, -uh. And, <laughs> uh, so what do you think? For example, what do you think of uh, SDGs uh, made by the? United Nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Oh, okay, okay. It's not related to the not, action not plan. Not focusing on the uh, action plan that suggested okay. by the presenter group. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, presenter group, no audience, audience, oh. audience yeah. asked the, what do you think about SGDs or something like this? Yeah, from okay. the audience, yeah. And uh, what to react the uh, presenter? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for your question. Your mm. answer, your question is what do we what we think about SDGs? Mm, actually, yeah. so uh, I'm sorry, we actually we talked about action plan, blah blah blah. It's related to the SDGs, but it's not your question is not related to the, uh, my our action plan. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. I'm sorry, I can't we can't answer to this question like this. At, at this moment, yeah, okay. Is it okay? Okay, very good. Clear. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, and it's finished. What what, what do I what should I do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could clearly answer my question. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, eh, do 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so the five points answer, answer is like this. And four points answer is like this. Okay, okay. Five points that 
はい、okay. point, はい、いやいやいや、and good enough is like good enough answer is like this、uh, thank you blah blah blah、uh, the question is that is the same you talked about action plan blah 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 when do you start taking real action and probably thank you very much for your question and your question is when we start taking real action the answer is we have already started conducting plan blah 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 at my school It answers good enough, but not in to detail. That's why this kind of answer will get point four and point three answer. Thank you very much for your question. Your question is when will you start taking real action? We will start it as soon as possible. It mostly covers the answer, but it doesn't mention the、uh, future plan or current situation. So, it, this kind of answer will get three points and two points.、Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for your question. And we think the plan is very useful and beneficial for the society.、Mm -hmm. This answer doesn't answer to the question.、Mm -hmm. okay? Probably the, oh,、uh, the presenter didn't uh, uh, understand the question. That's why. And the presenter didn't answer straightly. So, this kind of answer will get only two points, not related to the question. And, sorry, one point.、Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. This kind of question will get just one point. Okay? But if the question is not related to the action plan, just a vague question, what is your Uh, goal of SDGs or like, like this, it's not related to the action plan, your presentation.、Uh, you can say straight,、uh, your question is not related to my presentation, so we can't answer to your question. I'm very sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Right? Kavito sensei? Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And also,、uh, another example, five point answer. I、thank you. And when we, as for when we will start taking real action, actually, we are still discussing how to conduct the plan. It is because the plan needs a budget and we can't find any sponsors. We want to find any groups or people who can help us. Once we can make it, we will start it. This kind of answer is repeat the question. And explain the、uh, situation and why, and the reason, and also future plan. So, this kind of question、uh, answer will get five points. And four points. As for、uh, we will start taking real action, actually, we are still discussing how to conduct the plan. It is because it is difficult to take real action. It's good enough, it's very good enough. So, this answer could be four or five, but not perfect five. Okay?、Uh, yes. So, it's not related to the future plan. So,、mm. Mm, probably four. And three. As for when we will start taking real action, actually, we are still discussing how to conduct the plan. It mostly covers the answer, but We, the audience, want to get more information, probably when or what or like this. So, probably this answer will get three points and two points. We think what we need is more friends, many more friends who can help us. The question is when? When do you start? So, this answer is doesn't answer to the when question. So,、mm. This kind of answer will get two points and one point. Well, I have no idea like this. Okay? So, yeah, again, you need to answer what you think, what you are doing, why you think so, by showing examples and facts and、uh, explaining by explaining. Okay? It's very important. And then, How to write questions. Next, next topic how to write questions as an audience. Okay, please keep in mind that 
World Youth Meeting is for collaboration, not fighting. Okay, so you don't need to beat up uh, the other team. Okay, so we need to create a good atmosphere, good, uh, comfortable atmosphere. So please be nice, reduce pressure for presenters, and express gratitude. Thank you for your presentation like this. And write simple questions so that mm -hmm. presenters can, un uh, can understand the question. And use simple sentences and ask question in just two sentences. Keep it simple, okay? For example, uh, show respect for presenter and be polite. First, please express your gratitude and name. Thank you for your nice presentation. I'm Ayako Hirano. And then you use the word curfew. Probably some of you don't know the meaning of curfew. If the presenter uses a very difficult, difficult word, after making your point clear, so probably uh, the presenter will know, ah, probably this question is asking about curfew. And then what is the meaning of curfew? Okay, so it's just two sentences. You use the word curfew. What is the meaning of curfew? It's a two sentences. And you talk about the action plan, blah, 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 blah. And if the presenter didn't mention the uh, target point, what is the target point of the action plan, blah, 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 like this? Make it clear and simple, okay? And useful expression. Uh, thank you, I'm Ayako Hirano. You said that we should eat less meat. Does it mean we should eat more fish like this, or your action plan is clear water for everybody. When do you think it will be possible like this? So you can use this kind of expressions, I think. And presenter, how to choose questions, how to choose questions. Uh, in order to choose questions in one minute and answer in just two minutes. So prepare potential questions and answers beforehand. Anticipate the questions and prepare for the answers. And also choose those prepared questions and answer them. And choose questions whose points are clear. You don't, you shouldn't choose a vague question. And last one, useful expression. Uh, when you want to give opinions, uh, in this case, probably to answer what do you think kind of questions. So I like blah, 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 blah. I don't like, or it's convenient or useful or helpful. It's cool. Or I feel it's comfortable or it makes us happy because like this. And give it examples. For example, for instance, such as it is because, so please use these expressions. Example, what do you think of SNS presenter? Thank you for asking Ayako. The question is, what do you think of SNS? Read the question. Okay, the question is, we like SNS. So paraphrase the question. To share the question with audience or repeat the question is okay and make it easy to answer you. You can answer it easily because you repeat the question and you memorize the question one more time. And then our answer is yes, for two reasons. Give a straight answer. If you have a, a yes or no question, uh, yes or no. And the reason, first, it's very convenient. We can easily contact friends anytime, anywhere. And second, blah, 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 like this. Okay, so straight. So signal, by signaling your answer, uh, the audience can anticipate your answer. And when you don't understand the question, 
if you have to choose a question you don't understand, so in that case, you can't ask to repeat it because it's an online event. So paraphrase the question and make it easy to answer. Okay, so change a little bit. Change the question a little bit for easier one. And lastly, please add, I hope I answered the question. So probably it's okay. And when you don't know the answer, you don't have the answer, be honest. And please say, I'm sorry, we don't have the details on that. To answer your question, we don't have enough information. Okay, be honest. Or tell impossible to decide. The answer is yes or no, yes and no, yes and no. This is because the plan has a benefit and a downside. Or it might be true, but I think blah, blah, blah has this positive side too, like this. Okay, so thank you for listening. Yes, okay. Keep smiling first, please. So hello everyone, we are you and Ayaka from Nihon Fukushi University. We will talk about the theme of the World Youth Meeting 2021. The theme is Regeneration and Sustainability. How can you be responsible for attending SDGs? So in the fight against COVID-19, Staying home or wearing a mask has been strongly required all over the world. Some countries are still proceeding with online, online home learning. In fact, we seem to compare it isolated now. In order to bridge the gap among us, we decided to conduct a World Youth Meeting this year online again, appreciating your school's attendance last year. We set its theme as lead generation and sustainability. Many people predict that we will not reach the SDGs by 2030. So far, there have been some improvements. Extreme poverty and infant mortality rates have fallen. However, peace and democracy are still far away and many children still do not have enough basic education. As at our World Youth Meeting last year, we made presentations on SDGs and had a lot of discussions about them. Was that enough? Was it enough to simply introduce research and case studies? In order to regenerate and accelerate the process, we would like to see closer international collaboration. The most important thing is to show our concrete action plan to the audience. To only show the results of our research is mere data and it will not contribute to SDGs. So what connect our daily lives to the SDGs goal? If we keep the SDGs in mind, we will be continually reminded. Here are some possible presentation title. About goal 16, goal 4, goal 5, goal 14, goal 7, goal 10. So thinking about the possible world use meeting presentation, we don't need merely critiques. We don't need your commentaries. We will listen to your voice and we want you to speak up again. Isn't this the kind of responsibility that will lead the acceleration toward a better future society? We are looking forward to hearing your presentation about how we can make SDGs part of our life and how we can make the world a better place. This is a schedule of World Youth Meeting. Please pay particular attention to the parts written in red. Please next. 
This is our schedule of day one. Online presentation in separate online rooms. We expect participants to do a collaborative online presentation at the uh, assigned time being careful to keep in mind the time differences. The best team will win the national award from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. Of course, we can get a platinum and good prize as usual, including a participating certificate for each. Next, please. And this is the schedule of day two. Please pay attention. Yes, that's all our presentation. Thank you for listening. Hey, thanks so much. You two improve a lot, much better than the first presentation. From the viewpoint, uh, delivery rate, the speed speed, and keep smiling, beautiful uh, facial expression, and feel some confidence. It's very important. You improve a lot. So this because this is the second time, that's suggest us the more practice the better your english improves 2回目だからとっても良くてやはり回数を重ねるということがとても大切だと勉強させてもらいました okay you did the job so i said in japanese the more you practice the better the better your presentation become so please completes the presentation file as as fast as possible and keep and have enough time to practice like them they're paying attention on delivery speech a speech speech facial expression and the gesture and make a pause it is very important it is Blah, 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 like this. So uh, this uh, delivery way is always suggested by the Gedi sensei. And uh, uh, please check the video clip uh, that spoken by Gedi sensei, how to make a pose, how to uh, make, a, uh, make a posture, or how to uh, focusing on the prosody, prosody, okay? The more are uh, you practice the better your English improve, uh, improved? Again, I say one uh, one question. Please explain prosody in our, our basic words for all the participants. <laughs> so okay. basically, we talk about uh, stress and prosody. So it's the the use of your voice to make words sound louder. So important words, content words. Uh, in sentences should be a little louder, uh, and that would fall under stress. Uh, and prosody, things like the speed, the pace of talking, uh, and using pauses. So basically, we're talking about sort of the rhythm of English. Uh, English is a very rhythmic language. If you concentrate on your the speed and the stress, and pauses, that creates uh, sort of a musical uh, or lyrical uh, way to, to speak English. So those are the things that you should, as Kagito Sensei said, uh, practice. And if you can, uh, record your presentation or with video or just audio and have a listen to the sound of your voice. Uh, I think often students get very nervous and they tend to be, their delivery is very flat. So you want to avoid that because it can get very monotonous or hard to listen to. So as, uh, as Kagdo Sensei said, practice makes perfect. Uh, the more you practice, the more you listen uh, and have other people listen to you as well. The, the better and more natural sounding your language will be. Um, 
And of course, uh, another excellent way to prepare for that is to, is to listen to real English, uh, English in movies, television shows, YouTube, radio, podcasts, listening to real English uh, is a good way to train yourself, uh, your brain and your mouth to be able to speak English more and more like a native speaker. So I think that's uh, everything in a very short and concise uh, explanation. So practice makes perfect, everyone. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much. Practice, practice makes perfect. You got it. I remember that. Practice, practice makes it perfect. Okay. And after this, so the Dr. Sato, very famous professor, not only in, inside Asia and all over the world. Uh, there are extension running and also the uh, three, uh, three dimension uh, camera work for the experiential learning. Yeah. And Dr. Sato is not already set uh, a breakout room. A breakout room. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, could you please explain and uh, Yeah, breakout room. Uh, yeah. yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, Kagetsu sensei needs to go now. Ah, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. So, yeah. As Kagetsu sensei kindly sent an email earlier, uh, I will. <coughs> yeah. Next, you will enjoy breakout session and discuss. Uh, Yeah, for example, COVID-19 situation in your country, your experience of English presentation, uh, what's, goal of S uh, what's goal of SDD, DGs are you interested in, or something like that. And before uh, going on to the breakout session, I will briefly talk about uh, the mm, yeah, kind of learning theory, learning framework. But uh, yeah, it's not difficult talk, so yeah, just short talk. So yeah, be relaxed and listen to me. Let me see. So this one, can you see? Ah, yes, thank you. I will briefly talk about uh, this theory, this framework, Community of Inquiry Framework, COI, for higher order learning, before going on uh, the uh, breakout session. So yeah, actually, I believe that you are doing, uh, you will do group work appropriately uh, without citing this kind of learning theory or framework. But uh, mm, I, I talk a little bit, hoping to help you take an objective look at your activity for the better group work. So COI, yeah, COI means community of inquiry. When you pursue something or when you collaboratively pursue some uh, research aims with other members. And the yeah, community of inquiry, COI framework, <coughs> is composed of three presences, like shown here, social presence and cognitive presence and teaching presence. With the combination of these three presences, yeah, you can have good educational experience. The yeah, Garrison says in this way, So if you are interested in, uh, yeah, you, you can check this, uh, this book. If you Google, I think you can soon find uh, <coughs> this article and you can get the PDF by Free of Church. So anyway, yeah, uh, <coughs> let me introduce briefly. Social presence is explained as the ability of participants to identify with a group, communicate purposefully in a trusting environment, 
and develop personal and affective relationships progressively by way of projecting their individual personalities. So, <clears throat> yeah, to say this briefly, so yeah, building a good friend friendship or is also very important for uh, collaborative works. And cognitive presence <coughs> is explained like this. The extent to which learners are able to construct and confirm mean meaning through sustained reflection and discourse in a critical community of inquiry. So <coughs> here, the group identity, or they say the group identity and group's goal is very important. So to confirm this group goal, uh, when you collaborate, sometimes I suggest you to share the concrete object, something like the research result, not just by talking, but uh, also share uh, what you uh, what you surveyed and uh, yeah, share the results with other members and uh, <clears throat> yeah, try to discuss more concretely. And then uh, teaching presence. Yeah, but I, I will skip considering the remaining time. So yeah, I introduced briefly about community of inquiry and my message is just like this. Yeah, after this, you will enjoy breakout session. And so, uh, just as Professor Kageto sent you uh, uh, to the emailing list, you enjoy casual talk there. So, but building relationship in this way is also very important for social presence. So, yeah. Please try hard to enjoy <laughs> something strange. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, uh, let's uh, please enjoy your casual conversation with your friends. So it will work for the future collaboration in your group. So yeah, my message is like this, build relationship to communicate frankly for higher social presence. And uh, yet today, uh, uh, we don't have enough time to discuss the concrete contents of your presentation. But still, when you conduct it, uh, please write down and share what you will discuss for higher cognitive presence. And I hope that will help you improve your preparation about your presentation. So, yeah, let's move on to the group uh, breakout session. So, yeah, uh, there are four rooms, and I think uh, you know where you go by checking the breakout session's name. So, uh, please move by yourself. Please choose your room by yourself, and uh, yeah, start group uh, breakout session there. So if you cannot move or you don't know where you should go, yeah, let me know.
20 minutes uh, all will be back so yeah just uh, wait a while for a while Uh, yeah, hello again. I think now all are back here at the main session. So how was your breakout session? How is your social presence now? <laughs> so can you tell, uh, just a moment. Can you tell me or can you tell us uh, how did you enjoy your breakout session? So how about the room of USM, UP, MKD, Chilai, and NHU? How did you enjoy the breakout session? Please tell us briefly. Please share your experience briefly. Anyone? Maybe, <laughs> yeah, Jerry Sensei will designate. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll just quickly pick some of the uh, the UP students who have lots <laughs> to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Ruth, Harvey, or Carl, uh, what were some of the things that we talked about in the room? What were some of the SDG issues that were everybody was talking about? Please tell everyone. Um, hello. Um, uh, oh. Go ahead, Carl. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I can't turn on my camera. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's the problem. Hmm. Yeah, but um, what we talk about inside our break breakout room is like we tend to focus on like relevant issues nowadays. That includes COVID-19 and at the same time, gender, poverty. Actually, um, I think we like our team like we are really connected with one another because we have like we have the same goals or like mm. we have the same idea or like like our our ideas in like intertwine like we are connected so i think it's a good thing because like we were able to express what we want to want to say about about the this about certain issues and yeah i hope that we will be able to more we'll be able to have more conversations in our next future in our future meetings yeah thank you so much uh, yeah you will go deeper in the next session yeah mm -hmm. thank you so have do you also say something uh good, mo uh, good morning everyone so I just want to share that I'm quite, um, uh, uh, what do you call this? I'm, I'm happy that I saw uh, also uh, other students or other people about, uh, who are passionate about their um, advocacies in life, especially uh, in relation to SDGs. Because uh, nowadays, uh, I, I really recognize that the power of the youth sector is really important because there's this notion that uh, we hold the future. So. Uh, as I, uh, w when I heard some of the issues being raised by my uh, teammates or from other countries, I can see that there's still hope that the youth sector can still do something about the social issues that we are experiencing, especially when it comes in uh, addressing issues uh, 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 posted or uh, mentioned in uh, our in the different uh, SDGs uh, programs. Mm. So. Um, mm. Thank you. Very yeah. much. Thank you very much. You've already talked about uh, something in detail yeah, for that presentation. So yeah, because of time limitation, yeah, I want to ask more from this group, but uh, yeah, it's already past 30. So I will move on to the next group. So how about Wenzhou University and Chonam National University and NFU team? So maybe someone turn on your mic, but yeah, Sean. Oh yeah, please go ahead. Thank you, Professor. Um, 
we have now um, uh, go uh, go going to the same uh, line line uh, room now, and uh, mm. we will discuss the, the same. Uh, we we will um, we will decide uh, which same we we will choose, and uh, think about uh, the the contents um, in that room. And uh, the the before we just uh, um, in uh, we just talk about uh, the name and uh, mm -hmm. how to um, call other body uh, uh, other members, and uh, mm -hmm. we don't um, it's, uh, uh, we we don't tell the other things. Mm -hmm. That's yes. all. Yeah. Sorry, maybe, yeah, I wanted to know how to call you all, so I disturbed your detailed discussion. Sorry, yeah, please, uh, yeah, move on in the next session. Thank you very much, Sean. So, yeah, let, let's move on to the next group. So, Kansai University, Isho University, and NFU. How about your breakout session? Someone? Irene Sensei, can you point out someone? Yeah, uh, mm. maybe uh, Ako, so you want to say it or Sarah? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, we don't, we don't have enough time and we mm. cannot decide what goal. So later we should decide what goal we choose and um, yes. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much. Are you from Japan? Yes, I'm from Japan, but I'm from Asian University in Taiwan. Yes. Oh, really? Now I'm a student in Taiwan, but I'm a Japanese. Uh, I see. How many years do you study in Isho University? Four years. Oh yes, uh, already. Yes. Uh, uh, no, see. no, four years. Um, I'm a second grade. Second grade. Ah, okay. So for more. Yeah. Thank yes, you very no. much. Mm. Yeah. Today, today's uh, breakout session's aim is to, to enhance social presence, to be more friendly. So yeah, don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much. So how about uh, the PTEC, PTTC, SL, and KSU? and NFU groups. Okay, so Tida, can you uh, report about the English presentation uh, experience? Uh, okay, yes. please. Yes, and um, hello, Professor, and good morning, everyone. And pardon me that I can open my camera. And mm -hmm. I want to say that while we break our session, we have discussed about, and also we tell about our experience about presentation English and also the COVID-19 situation also. And I want to share you about, we have a uh, talk about presentation English experience. Um, the, the main point that I want to tell you that uh, through before we're just meeting and while in this meeting, before in we're just meeting, we should know about what topic we talk about, and we should discuss about what topic or the main point that we want to share in the audience. And the second, we should know the, we should know, we should write the script, and also we should memorize our script. And we should practice many times with our panel or our, uh, our team groups. And we should prepare about Q&A because in the end of the presentation, we have Q&A. And mm -hmm. the next is what in your world just meeting. In world just meeting, we should pay attention or confident. And while we presentation, we should have eye contact with the audience. 
because when we have eye contact with the audience, uh, the mm -hmm. audience can, can pay attention on us and also mm -hmm. speak slowly and clearly about our presentation. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, keep, keep smile. <laughs> yeah, also, this is our experience presentation at all. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, Thank amazing. You. you talked really, really seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So yeah, how about the final group, LUPP and NFU? Um, so good morning, everyone. And our group, we shared um, like um, our concerns and what, how can we connect our the SVG to our uh, life. Uh, our friend in Japan mentioned about uh, the plastic in the ocean, which affected the ocean life, and also some oil spill there. And our from our Cambodia side, we mentioned um, how can we reduce some plastic uh, usage, and um, also we got to interact with uh, one another, and we we are planning on having our own meeting in the near future in order to further uh, collaborate and prepare our presentation. And I think that sums up our uh, meeting, recent meeting, yes. Hmm. All right, yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, it's okay, yeah. So thank you very much. So, yeah. Uh, Sorry for extending the <clears throat> meeting time, but uh, yeah, next time you will go more in detail. And uh, I, I think next time uh, you are divided into each team. Uh, this time, the, some teams are in the same breakout session and enjoy the, yeah, knowing each other. So yeah, but yeah, uh, from next time you will go. Uh, you will discuss the contents of your presentation in detail. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the discussing something in detail. So yeah, uh, Hirano Sensei, thank you very much for your lecture today. So yeah, any final message? <laughs> thank you very much. I'm always oh. enjoying joining this, uh, how to say the, yeah, session. So mm. I'm looking forward to working with you. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Thank How you. about Giri Sensei? Final comments? Yes, I mm. always have something to say. Um, just uh, to encourage, uh, especially my students, but uh, all of the students as well, for next week, uh, please uh, make sure that you have some notes and some ideas uh mm. for your the things that you're interested in please prepare mm. before some notes and ideas have something mm. to look at so that you'll feel more confident to to talk and contribute to, to the very important uh, discussions next week mm. so yeah. not only in your mind yes yeah, mm. but for, yeah write down to mm. be able to see uh, yeah for everyone yes yes yeah. so yeah Thank you very much. Yeah, I also enjoyed a nice session together with you. Yeah, I enjoyed your nice smiling face today. <laughs> so yeah, I can enjoy the rest of Sunday so happily. So yeah, thank you very much for today and see you again. Bye. Bye-bye everyone. See, see you next week. See you. Thank you. Goodbye, Professor. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがと
お時間いただいてことを、はい、誠にありがとうございます。いや、いやなんかあの、すみません、メールから誤解して、なんかワールドの事実的なことであれば、ちょっとしらあの対応調べとかなきゃなとかって思ったら、いやいや結構あの<笑>あの、大きい話でいろいろメールに書いていただくのに、お手数かけてしまって、いやいやいや<笑>申し訳ないなワールドユースで先生が結構、インターフェースも含めて、中心的にやってらっしゃいますし。すごいなって思いつつ。いやいや、とんでもないです。あ,あの先生のあの白井とか、あのあそこでコーディネートされてるのと。いやいや、より宣伝。いやいやいや、もう僕はだから全然。で、ほん、なんか一度付属高校もやっと本気になってきたみたいで。<笑>あの、やるみたいなんで。うんうん、はい、そうです、ね。ちょっとあの。本当に学生をどこまで鍛えられてるかっていうところをあのいつもご迷惑をおかけして、いやいやいや、不安ばかりなんですけど、いや、本当になんか今え、メールいただいて、私もワクワクしてというか、あの本当に学生もうまく絡めてやらせていただきたいなという思いを、ねはい、新たにしております。先生がいつもおっしゃってるように、あのコーポレーションというか、広大接続で、うん、そうですね、はい、やったら、すごいいい会になるなって思ってますし、またいろんなね、学校さん、影戸先生、や佐藤先生がコネクション持ちなんで、うん、ぜひ、はい、あの、ASEP に向けての,、はい、あの、いいプライマリーセッションだったらいいなって。はい思ってますんで、そうですね。はい、良い機会をありがとうございます。<笑>私曜日詳しいことは、はい、あのお時間いただいて、ちょっと可能な範囲であの大学の事務とかも、まあそんな手続き的なことは特にないとは思うんですが、一応あの年度ため確認しておけたらと思いますので、そうですね、はい。うちの教務長、まあ松永の方があの京都県教務長なんですが、はい。まあぜひあのお手伝い願いたいということも言ってましたので、はい、学生さんに。はいまあはい、でもっとこあの、小屋仕事は水曜日お話しますが、インターンとかの生徒で、はいはい、付属に来ている生徒が何人か、毎年いるんですが、うんまあ、教職のですね。ですかね。あのはいはい、結局来ても、はいまあ、率直な言い方しちゃうと、コピーとか印刷物のお手伝いで終わっちゃうんじゃ、そんなんじゃ、うん、なんとなく中身がないから、むしろこういうところで、はいあのうん、手伝ってもらえた方が、うん、あのお互いにいいよねっていう話もちょっと出てて。ああ、なるほど。はい。またあの、はい、お時間いただいたときに、はいろいろお話しいただき、はい、今日は本当にありがとうございましたあ。いえ、こちらこそありがとうございます。失礼いたします。はい、失礼いたします。Okay. So I will close the, this meeting room. So thank you very much for today. See you.